Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we are live here in Georgetown, Washington, D.C. And we are going to get things started off with a one-on-one -on -one matchup between Marty Scroll and Sheamus. And this will be part of the tournament for the Internet Championship. And what a tournament this has been. We've had matches such as Marty Scroll versus Leo Rush, which literally threw everybody off of their seats and it was amazing it David Meltzer would give it a six out of five and then we had Sheamus taking on Fandango which was a very hard-fought matchup and then we have we've had Bray or, or tonight we have Bray Wyatt taking on Alberto Del Rio and ladies and gentlemen Chris Jericho has just tweeted Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown Live. Sorry, I'm unable to be there, but but tonight, uh, next week, it will be Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Austin Aries and Finn Balor in a tag team match in our main event. And the winner at uh, the winner at Capital Punishment will be facing none other than. Uh, a talent that he is out scouting right now and getting a contract with at Money in the Bank and ladies and gentlemen that is huge huge news and I cannot wait to see who he's signing first of all and who that person will be facing as we will have Finn Balor Roman Reigns and Austin Aries in a triple threat for the World Heavyweight Championship at capital punishment but right now we have this man the Celtic warrior the one the one the only Fella. we have Seamus the Irish curse last kicker and look at this guy he is on a roll Seamus has had a run in with the fashion police and the fashion police just do not like his style but Mr. Fella right here does not care one bit. He sets the bar for a superstar. And look at him. The first ever Irishman to come over and win a WWE championship at a young early age. And Sheamus ever since then has been able to be very focused here in the WWE. And tonight he has an opportunity to win and continue on in this tournament. Or... We can have a man like Marty Squirrel continue. And ladies and gentlemen, look at these two. These two, very different in style. Seamus more of a, a fist to fist and boots type of style. Likes to get down and dirty. While you have the style of Marty Squirrel, which is more technical, very submission based. And just look at Seamus. Seamus just staring down Marty Squirrel. Squirrel, ready to go. Referee, Elias. Ooh, whoa, whoa, Elias Johnson here tonight. One of our new referees, and look at Johnson. Johnson trying to get in there, and look at this. Oh, and the Sheamus, like I said, he likes to throw those fists. He loves to throw those fists in like a no, look at Sheamus. Sheamus just, just yelling. And oh, scroll, and Sheamus. Oh, look at that though. Scroll able to turn it around. Oh, but look at that. The power of Sheamus able to get him back into a nice headlock there. Beautiful maneuvers, but wait. 
What is Scroll looking to do? And then using the momentum of Sheamus. And oh, look at that. Beautiful. Jumping over. And has him with a hip toss. Using the momentum to get Sheamus right off his feet. And Scroll is doing the whoop whoop. Scroll trying to get these fans behind him. And look at him. Scroll just backing up Sheamus into a corner. Pretty much mimicking what Sheamus did to him earlier. And now look at Scroll. Saying all's love and. And now look at Scroll just taunting away, but Sheamus is not someone you want to taunt away with. Just takes him off his feet. And Sheamus, ever since coming to the WWE, has been about showing that Irish Strong style. And this is what I mean right here. This Irish Strong style uses these fists and this like like a bare knuckle brawler. And just look at him, just oof, hammering away at that chest. And then one for good measures on the side of the head. Goodness gracious. Oof. Oh my God. Sheamus. No remorse. And no love given. Off the ropes. Goes away. No. Oh. Right into a big boot. Sheamus. Not huge with the fans here tonight. But the fans... Really, I, Marty Skrull is huge with these fans. He is a fan favorite here tonight in Georgetown. But Sheamus is just not, not happy with that. Just not happy one bit. And oh! Just pulling back. And just look at that. Wrenching the neck backwards. Has him in this rest hold type maneuver. Able to, oof! Work on the neck of Marty Skrull. If you work on the neck, you take out all that high flying. You take out all that, you put it, you're applying pressure to the back, to the spine. You know, Seamus knows that, Seamus knows that, and look at him. Seamus, oh, just hammering away on the chest once more. Scroll needs to find a way to fight out, and just as I say that, beautiful jawbreaker. Scroll, oof. Scroll fighting back. Oh, throws him off the ropes. Ducks under, what is this? Scroll bouncing off the ropes himself. Beautiful clothesline, turn him inside out. And then Scroll drops himself with a beautiful senton. And look at Scroll. Scroll just going at it. Scroll. Oof. Just trying to beat on Seamus here, trying to get Seamus down, and this picks him up with a scoop slam. But you can see the wear and tear that this match has had on Marty Scroll here. Marty. Marty another scoop slam. Marty another wait. No. DDT from Sheamus. Sheamus, like I said, beautiful maneuvers. Has had, has had, sorry ladies and gentlemen, I have no clue what that was. No clue what that was. That scared the living Christ out of me. Sheamus, as of late, has had some some running with the fashion police, and so far, so good. No, no fashion police. But Sheamus, oh, looks like he's focused on on bigger and better manners, aka getting that championship around his waist. Sheamus wants to show everybody that he deserves to be a champion. Now Sheamus tossing it, Marty off, and oh, you hear the "you look stupid" chant. And once again, Sheamus, Sheamus twisting the neck and look at it. He's just yelling at them. He's saying, are you not entertained? And now Sheamus, Sheamus working on the neck, working on the neck. He's just softening up that neck for the broad kick. Oh, has him up. Are we going to see white noise? Are we going to see white noise? Is it over? One, two, no. It is not over. Sheamus trying to think of what he's going to have to do to get the match won. And look at him. Sheamus with those punches. Marty off the ropes. Sheamus waiting. No, Marty DDT. Marty with a DDT of his own. Only one man can continue in this tournament. It is by pinfall or submission. Now look at Marty. 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 Oh my God. 
Sheamus just eating those blows. A super kick. Is it over one? We got a two and a no. And a kick out. Not able to get a three. And Marty. Marty trying to focus here. Marty knows that he needs to fully focus if he wants to get the victory. Marty going up. Marty going up. But all oh, Seamus saw him. Seamus saw him and all oh, takes him down. Wait a minute. Seamus taunting to the fans. Letting the fans get under his skin here. And could that be the downfall of Seamus here? Could that be the downfall? Big clothesline. Marty, ooh, just looks out of it. Marty tr trying to fight back, trying to get back into this. But no, Marty not able, not able to get his footing. But just as I said, commentator's curse. Marty scroll. Are we going to see it? Are we going to see the chicken wing? Oh, look at Marty. Marty just swinging for the fences here. Goodness gracious. Wait, Marty. Big clothesline taking Sheamus off his feet to the outside. Oh, wait. What is this? What is this? Marty off the ropes. Marty going. Oh, no. And the fans are not happy one bit saying that Sheamus looks so Marty Kip up. Marty with the nip up and oh Sheamus Marty nips up big clothesline and another off the rope beautiful kick right to the jaw and Marty is signaling for the chicken wing whoop whoop are we gonna see it here has him rolls him over Arms hooked. Just dropped in the position. Dropped in the position. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. Is Sheamus going to give up? Is Sheamus. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Sheamus. Sheamus able to fight out of it. Sheamus was able to fight out of it. A brogue. And a brogue. Wait, wait. Wait, that's that's Breeze it. That's Breezango. Breezango's on the top right. And look, Sheamus has noticed them. Breezango. Wait, wait. Breezango leaving. Sheamus notices that he needs to get back into the ring here. Sheamus back in the ring. Sheamus back in the ring. Wait, wait. Scroll. Scroll once again. Scroll. 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 Has him. Sheamus was able to get out of it once. But is he going to be able to get out of it again? Marty. Marty applying all the pressure he can. Is this over? Yes, it is. Marty's scroll. Continuing in this tournament to crown the first ever internet champion. Look at here. Right there. Beautiful white noise. And I thought it was over right there. We had a one, a two but just not enough to take out Marty. Marty, this was the first chicken wing. We all thought it could have been over here. Marty tried his best, but Sheamus was just too much, and then that bro kick. That bro kick, but it still wasn't enough to take Marty out fully. Marty just able to get in that last chicken wing, and it was all she wrote. And ladies and gentlemen, Marty scroll moves on in this tournament and look at Marty Marty knows that he barely was able to get out of that if it wasn't for Brizongo he might have lost and ladies and gentlemen there is the brackets Marty scroll continuing in this tournament tonight we will find out who will face Tyler Breeze next week and the winner of that match will fight Marty scroll at C capital punishment Ladies and gentlemen, that is William Regal, the United States Champion. And tonight, William Regal does not look happy. His, w, uh, his United States Championship was stolen backstage as he entered the arena by a mystery man. And ladies and gentlemen, the only man that can be on his mind is Ty Dillinger. 
the former United States champion Ty Dillinger and William Regal have been going at it and ladies and gentlemen I do not know what what is going on here in the back Daniel Bryan is scheduled to be facing William Regal but oh my god that's Dean Ambrose and once again Ambrose Ambrose attacking Bryan that is twice Did Ambrose attack oh and it's Sami Zayn I was just about to say who is going to replace Daniel Bryan and is none other than Mr. Inzane himself, Sami Zayn. Oh my god, Sami saw an opportunity and he took it. Sami saw the opportunity and he was like, why the hell not? And Alberto El Patron said tonight, I will show the next best talent to ever grace a four-sided ring in the main event. I don't know if he's talking about himself or his this a prodigy he's he's been he's been talking about as of late on Twitter. I have no clue, ladies and gentlemen, but Sami Zayn. Wow. Cannot wait to see if Sami Zayn can pick up a victory over the United States champion William Regal. And ladies and gentlemen, if Sami Zayn is able to pick up a victory, you gotta think that is huge! For Sammy and putting him in the in a contendership for that United States Championship and look at him, Sammy Zayn ready to go. Sammy Zayn is ready to go. Oh, look at this! Oh, but look at Regal able to outpower Sammy here. Oh, Regal! Oh, come on! Come on! There was no reason for that. Look at Regal. Regal telling him to bring it on. And Sami Zayn, let's go. But once again, Regal able to force him back. Able to force him back into that, onto that rope. And then once again, come on, referee. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. One for European uppercut, but no, just not enough. And William Regal, look at him. Regal. Oh. Now Regal just, oh come on, just stopping on his head. Really Regal, do you really have to do that? Now William Regal sending Zane into the corner here. What is this? Oh, big, oh. And a beautiful bulldog to follow it up. A big forearm into a bulldog combination. And William Regal's ready to go. William Regal's ready to go. And a beautiful drop kick right to the back. William Regal, what is this? Like a modified version of his Regal stretch. Sammy trying to reach for that rope. It's right there. Come on, Sammy. Come on. You got this. Oh, but no, not able to get it just yet. But Sammy Zayn turns him around. Has a beautiful bell to back suplex. Oh, Sammy Zayn working with those elbows right on the chrome. Ooh, the crown of the skull. And Sami Zayn is feeling it. Zayn is feeling it. Has some DDT. Zayn, beautiful moonsault. William Regal is trying to get out of the way, but Sami just able to connect there. And just as I said, look at Zayn taking an advantage and keeping on William Regal. Just keeping on him. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Sami Zayn, can he be looking for the Haluva? I think Zayn's looking for the Haluva. Haluva, no! William Regal knew that he needed to get out of the way before the Haluva came in. And now look at Zayn. Now look at Zayn. Oh, but Zayn going to the outside. Regal knows that he needs to keep Zayn slowed down. He needs to keep that fast pace offense away. Sami Zayn off the ropes. Beautiful drop kick to William Regal. Regal doesn't know what he can do to keep Zayn down. Zayn just looks like he's hot and ready right off the bat. And then look at him. Sami Zayn has him. Up and down with the Michimoko driver. Into a pin. We got a one. We got a two. And a kick out. Not enough to take William Regal out just yet.
No, Zane. Oh, <laughs> taking a little breather here. This is not smart by Zane. Up to the top rope. Beautiful crossbody. Is it over? One. Two. No. Not just yet. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are barely, barely turning your cha your your attention to this broadcast. Ooh. So far, we've had Marty Squirrel taking on Sheamus, and then we had two announcements. One from our general manager, Chris Jericho, which said that next week it will be Austin Aries and Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns and Dwayne The Rock Johnson in our main event. And the winner at Capital Punishment will be facing a new talent that Chris Jericho is signing at this moment to a contract. At Money in the Bank. And then in our main event, we will have Bray Wyatt take on, on Alberto Del Rio. And ladies and gentlemen, look at these. Look at these two great men. This was a scheduled matchup between William Regal and Daniel Bryan. But Daniel Bryan was taken out in the back. And now Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn. Oh. Oh, Zayn running into him and a beautiful drop kick. Zayn playing some mind games there. And William Regal had no clue what was going on. But look at Zayn off the ropes. Beautiful transition into a Michimoko. Beautiful transition. Oh, what is Zayn looking to do here? Zayn trying to get the fans behind him. Zane trying to get these fans behind him. What is Zane looking for here? Point at Regal. Points at Regal. What is this? Big drop kick with all. Oh, Regal saw it coming and moves out of the way and gives him a big kick to the back. No, 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 no. Regal cutter. Regal cutter. And this could be it, folks. We got a one, two, and no, not yet. Just two for William Regal right now, but oh, look at Regal. Regal looks like he's going, Regal looks like he's ready. Looks like he's going to hit it. Looks like he's going for the knee trim. No! Sami Zayn able to get out of the way. Big clothesline. And Zane, Zane's feeling it. Zane's feeling it. Sammy Zane off the ropes. Beautiful maneuver, corkscrew crossbody. And Zane is feeling height. Sammy Zane just needs to get Regal right back into that ring. He knows that it is better to get a pinfall. Then a ring count out, and Zayn, look at this. That is the, the ring awareness of Sami Zayn. But no, no, William Regal has a beautiful German suplex popping the hips. Popping the hips, and now look at Regal, right back into control, just like that. And that is why William Regal is a United States champion. Oof. Sami Zayn, what is this? William Regal going onto the second rope and now dropping the fist. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it might have busted Sami Zayn open and now, oh no. William Regal's noticed it. Regal's noticed it. Oh, the big knee. Like a, like a, like a shark in the water. Notices the blood and now going right after it. Just like that, William Regal has just taken all offense away from Sami Zayn. And now look at, wait, just as I say that commentator's curse, Sami Zayn has him, dropped him, oh, what is this, cozy clutch, cozy clutch. He could have him here. He could have Regal down with the Koji clutch. He just has to make Regal tap. But oh my god, no, no! The tiredness and the blood 
pouring down Sami Zayn's face. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, right into that exposed turnbuckle. Right into the exposed turnbuckle. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please. Good God, no. Oh, wait, wait. Sammy! Sammy! He has him. Rolls him up. One. Two. He can die. He can die. No. Just a two. And the fans getting on their feet. Clothesline. Another one. Sami Zayn. Dropkick. No. And oh, and a clothesline of his own. William Regal picks him up. Oh, no. Once more. Once more. No, 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 no. Regal cutter. And oh, no. Good golly, no. He's out. Regal knows it too. What is this? Regal turned him around. Oh no, 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 no. What is this? That insult to injury. Adding insult to injury. But wait, Zane. Zane trying to fight back. Beautiful headbutt into a beautiful moonsault. And Sami Zayn trying to get the WWE Universe right behind him. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are, if you would like to talk about the show, use the hashtag Ionic SD Live. Beautiful backbreaker. Sami Zayn trying everything here to get it back behind him. And a beautiful no, just not able to lift Regal up. No, 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 Regal. Regal knows it. He sees Sami Zayn's not all there anymore. Sami Zayn's not all there. Has him. And a third Regal cutter. What is this? William Regal. Wait, 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 wait. The brass knuckles. No. Referee didn't see it. No. Come on. Zayn. Oh, no. Zane doesn't know where he's at. Ladies and gentlemen, Zane, Sammy Zane doesn't know where he's at. No! Sammy Zane is out. One, two, three. Sammy Zane was out. The, those brass knuckles out of nowhere just taking out Sami Zayn any fight we thought Zayn had left was just taken away the, those brass knucks weren't even necessary Zayn just poor guy came out tried to make an impact just wasn't enough that's the second time that's happened it's poor Sami Zayn just needs to find a way to get back into this and look at this beautiful knee trembler and it was all she wrote and look at William Regal Regal able to pick up a victory and just look at this guy just look at the the cockiness and just ugh I cannot stand William Regal at all and look at Regal and oh wait that's Ty Dillinger has the United States Championship right around his arm. And oh, look at this. Ty Dillinger here to make a statement. He's here to say, William Regal, you and me, one last time, capital punishment. And oh, look at this. Look at this Ty. Ty, what is he looking for here? Oh wait, Ty taking, going Regal in the ring. Regal trying to get to his feet here. And oh, big shot with the United States Championship. And oh wait, Dillinger, oh. After a well-fought matchup with Sami Zayn, William Regal. It's William Regal not able to put up much of a fight. 
uh, as much of a fight as he would like. And Sam uh, and Ty Dillinger knows this. Dillinger knows this. Dillinger. Dillinger just getting some payback. Dillinger knows that if it wasn't for Layla, William Regal would not be the United States champion. And it, Layla actually was fired after getting after getting involved at payback and just look at these two just look at these two just ooh that clothesline and Dillinger Dillinger just pissed off like I said if it was not for Layla Dillinger would still be United States champion and Dillinger wants William Regal he wants to make him he wants to show him William Coffin oh, but no super kick and oh wait look at Dillinger look at Dillinger backs up and a beautiful perfect 10 and now just yelling at him just yelling at him oh look at this will this be what we see at capital punishment Oh, but wait, Dillinger's, Dillinger just dropped the title next to Regal. And now Dillinger's just walking away. Dillinger's walking away. My goodness, William Regal saying that he wants a last man standing match and the loser must retire for good. And Dillinger is saying you're on. Ladies and gentlemen, what a huge matchup for Capital Punishment. But ladies and gentlemen, tonight, right now actually, we have the Eater of Worlds. Bray Wyatt versus the Mexican sensation Alberto Del Rio and Bray Wyatt has been saying some weird sadistic stuff but ladies and gentlemen tonight we will see if Bray Wyatt can back it up in the ring as he will be facing on an Al a fresh Alberto Del Rio and we cannot forget when Bray Wyatt showed up last week after Marty Scroll defeated Leo Rush and hit him with a sister Abigail you gotta think if Marty sees Bray Wyatt at Capital Punishment it is not going to be a beautiful sight and just look at Bray Bray coming down to the ring slowly walking down and look at these people. These people do not like Bray Wyatt here in Washington, D.C. Georgetown is not a favorite of Wyatt. And ladies and gentlemen, Bray Wyatt waiting, waiting for Alberto Del Rio. Here's a look at him. He's ready. He's ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not Alberto's music. This is not Alberto's music. Ladies and gentlemen, that is that is Andrade Cien Almas. Is this the prodigy Alberto Del Rio has been talking about? Is this the future? I'll. Almas coming out and Alberto Del Rio just clapping behind him and ladies and gentlemen these two right here have been known around the world as two of the best talents and just look at this as you can see on Andrade's shirt it says we rule the world and yes they do Andrade Cien Almas 
and Alberto Del Rio. I I don't even know. It was scheduled to be Alberto Del Rio versus Bray Wyatt, but Alberto looks like he's gonna be on the outside, and he's giving this matchup to his protege, Almas, and Almas is ready to go. The fans here are ready to go for Almas. And just look at this. Ha! We are ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Andrade Cien Almas. Bray Wyatt. Almas taking off the hat and the shirt. And we're ready to get things underway. I'm just looking at it. Almas. Oh my goodness. How do you how do you even prepare for a man that you didn't even know you were going to fight? And Almas, look at this. Oh, but the cockiness of Almas. The cockiness of Almas. No. And Bray Wyatt. Ooh, but Almas is not going going down without a fight. Almas is not going out without a fight. Oh, ducks under. And has a beautiful hip toss. Beautiful hip toss. Just look at these guys back and forth. If you do not know about Andrade Cien Almas, he used to fight in places such as CMLL under the name La Sombra which is Spanish for the shadow and then he also fought in New Japan and was actually the IP, uh, IWG a light, uh, yes, light heavyweight champion and ladies and gentlemen just look at this guy La Sombra uh, or Andrade Cien Almas no matter what you want to call him this man Ooh, has a great, great pedigree and huge for Alberto Del Rio to bring him in. And oh, Bray Wyatt saying he's the eater of world. Will he eat Almas's world? But Almas, no! Beautiful maneuver from Almas. Almas, beautiful, beautiful maneuvers. Andrade. Oh, Wyatt. Oh, right into the corner there. And Andrade Cien Almas. Just cocky. Just that, that young blood of Almas. My God, did you see that? It would have turned that, that hur Hurricane Rana into a power bomb. And that's what Bray Wyatt could bring to this. He could bring the power, the speed. And for a big guy, the agility. You know, what is Bray looking to do here? He's also a slow, methodical wrestler. And as you can see, just as I say that, Bray Wyatt just pulling back on the neck. We've seen Sheamus do this earlier to slow down the offense of Marty Scroll and this Bray Wyatt. Wyatt might have been taking notes. Wyatt might be taking notes. And this could be a sign he's setting, sending to Marty Scroll. He's saying... I can take you down too. And if he's able to take out Almas, there's no doubt about it that Wyatt has a chance to see Marty Scroll at Capital Punishment. And once again, Bray Wyatt just yelling that he is the new face of fear and he is the eater of worlds. Oh, that big uppercut. Bray Wyatt, oh my goodness, he has the whole world in his hands, and oh! What is this? Oh my god, just choking him out, just choking out Almas, and Almas... And do you hear the fans here saying Bray is going to kill you? And ladies and gentlemen, look at Bray, Bray is ready to go, Bray is ready to go. What is going to happen here? But wait, no. Oh. Almas fighting back. Almas fighting back. What is this? Has the arm. What is this? Has the arm. Oh my God. Just wrenching it back. This is smart. You're taking out all the strength in one of the arms. You're taking out the sister Abigail. And Almas. Off the, off the top rope. Beautiful drop kick right to the jaw. And Almas is taunting away. What is this? 
Amas, oh, jumps over. Now beautiful, hip toss once more. And oh, Andrade ready to go. Andrade ready to go, what is this? Oh, went for a knee, but no, Bray. Bray able to hit him off. And oh, no, 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 we've seen him do this before. Drops him, oh, the big frame is like a freight train. Just dropping right on top of you. One, two, the no. And look at this. Wyatt telling him to stay down. Wyatt telling him to stay down. And now Berto Del Rio on the outside. Trying to cheer his man on. But wait, able to roll it in. Has him, has him. But wait, referee, we need to make sure the shoulders were down too. No. That one second could have cost Amos there. Almost could have had the win, but referee needed to make sure that oof that both shoulders were on the on the map. And almost, almost, like I said, he may be new here, but he is not new to the sport the sport of professional wrestling. And could this be it? One, two, no, not yet. And just look at him almost just staring down Bray Wyatt, asking himself what, what he's going to have to do to take Wyatt down. Has a beautiful, beautiful arm drag. Those are his years as La Sombra. And wait, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Bray's been busted open. And yes, he has. And, and oh, look at almost almost just going straight at him with those punches. Referee telling him to get off. And oh, look at this. Look at this. This taunting saying that he's blading it. It's all because of him. And you can see why Alberto chose him at his, as his prodigy. But no. Not yet. Wait, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, my goodness. Turns him inside out. With a neck toss. And look at Wyatt. Oh, has him again, has him again, has him. Wait, wait, wait. This time. This time, wait. Turns it into an arm drag. The beautiful flexibility and athleticism of Almas. Almas sending Wyatt outside. What is this? Almas off the rope. Tope con hilo. Woo! Almas. Beautiful tope con hilo over the top rope. And look at this. The, the fans are semi behind Andrade here. But there's more fans of Wyatt in Georgetown than there are of Almas. And oh, look at Del Rio. Del Rio telling Almas to keep, keep his head focused. To stop talking to the crowd. They're, they're not on your side. And just as he gets right back in. But, oh no, Wyatt was there to meet him up. Oh, wait, 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 Sister Abigail. Sister Abigail, is this over? Is it all over? Sister Abigail. Wait, Alberto though. Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Big chop. Oh my goodness. That big chop. I think pretty much just, ooh, fighting off of that little bit of fighting spirit he has, he has left, and, and, ooh, what is this, Almas, ooh, what is this, Almas, going off the ropes, off the, no, right into a European uppercut from Bray. And as you can hear the fan, Bray is going to kill you. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't keep things PG here. But oh my god, look at this. Now, just as I said, Bray strangling the life out of Almas. No, no, Bray dragging him into the middle of the ring. Dragging him into the middle of the ring. Has him. You're Nagi. Your Nagi into a senton. But look at this, the referee. The referee 
focusing on a Del Rio. And oh, Bray. Bray noticing. Bray yelling at the referee, but now look at Del Rio. Oh, Del Rio. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is this? Almost, almost. Oh, my God. Rolls him into a ball and that power bombs him right into that turnbuckle. One, two, no, no. Not just yet. Almas able to lift the big frame of Wyatt. But it just was not enough. What is Almas going to have to do? A beautiful maneuver by Bray. And oh no. Wyatt. Wyatt stocking him. Oh! Right to the ribs there. Wyatt was stalking him like like a hunter stalking its prey. And just look at it. Oh my god, just oof. Just oof. Oh my goodness. Just look at this. Oh my god, like I said, just oof. Taking the life out of Amos here. And ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. Bray looks like he might be going for the end, but once again, Alberto Del Rio. Once again, Alberto Del Rio. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Has a beautiful maneuver. Beautiful reverse DDT. And this could be it. Is he looking for that hammerlock DDT? Is he going to get it? But no, Bray. No. Bray has him. Has him. You're Nagi. And now, oh, we've seen him do this to Marty. He did this to Scroll. He did this to Marty. Bray's going to kill you, Chance. And a Sister Abigail. Sister Abigail. Wait a minute! Hammerlock DDT! What the hell just happened? One, two, three! What the hell just happened? Bray Wyatt had the match won. He hit the sister Abigail. Didn't that look like Marty's scroll? That, that's similar to what Bray Wyatt does but it just was not I, I don't what just happened the lights went out that went on the screen the lights came back on and Sienna almost was up in that hammerlock DDT and it was a three count Ken Almas continues in the tournament and will be facing Ty, Ty, Tyler Breeze next week. And oh my goodness, what did we just see? Well, that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have been Kevin Ion, and thank you for watching SmackDown Live. We will see you for Monday Night Raw. As you can see right here, Almas continuing on. And the winner of Almas vs. Tyler will face Marty Scroll at Capital Punishment. I've been Kevin Ion, this is Smackdown Live, and I am signing off for tonight. Goodness gracious, what is happening ladies and gentlemen, what is happening?